So I want to read this question that I saw on an osteoporosis forum, because I think this is going to include information for a lot of people. So listen to this question. This person says, I'm 52. I was diagnosed with osteoporosis today. Anyone have any advice or wisdom they can share? I admit I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed and stressed. My doctor prescribed alendronate sodium to take twice a week. What should I expect moving forward? This is so common. I hear this all the time. We see it in our forums. We see it in the our, our health span nation community. What you can hear in this is the pain, the fear, and the frustration that are already mounting in this person. If you've just been diagnosed with osteoporosis, I'd love for you to stick around because I'm going to outline what I recommend for our health span nation members to do when they show up and they say this exact same thing. So the first thing we hear when most people come in with a diagnosis of osteoporosis is this question. I got diagnosed. I don't know what to do. My doctor told me to take a drug and I don't want to take it and I'm scared. Fear is the underlying emotion of all of that, maybe behind some anxiety. The thing is, people are really asking the question, oh my gosh, what will this diagnosis prevent me from doing? Am I going to have a fracture? What are my limitations now? What is this drug? Do I have to take it forever? What are the side effects? Can I do it without the drug? My doctor says to take it now. They keep calling me and they do. People just wonder where to start. So I understand that this is an absolute existential crisis for many people because they're caught off guard by a diagnosis of osteoporosis. Their life just changed. Here's a few facts for you that I think will set this straight. Number one, osteoporosis can be reversed. We see it every day. Number two, bone health in general can get better. Even if your T-score doesn't improve or doesn't improve quickly, you can still improve your bone health. There's so many things that you can do. Number three, fracture risk may not be that high in the first place, meaning that T-scores are associated with fracture risk, but not that strongly. So we need to learn more information. Number four is that your fracture risk can also improve. And lastly, that even if you've had a fracture, fractures can heal and bones can still get better. So it's not the end of the world, but it means that we have work to do. The question is, where do we start? This is challenging because there's a lot of information. I love the internet. I'm on the internet. However, when you search osteoporosis on YouTube, on Google, you're going to find a lot of information. You're going to find support groups. You're going to find Facebook, Reddit private support groups, and they're going to have conflicting recommendations. And all the while, your doctor is calling you and telling you that you need to take this drug. Let me give you some options. Most of these options are absolutely free. The first thing is you need information. So where do you get it? You need a reliable source. You need to go to someone that has the right training and the right resources. So here are some options. A lot of people say, well, I got this diagnosis and I'm going to go to my specialist. I'm going to go to the endocrinologist. I'm going to go to the fracture liaison service. I'm going to go to my whatever. The truth is, is that none of these doctors are really osteoporosis experts. They might be bone health drug experts. Same thing with a fracture liaison service. They might have tools to help prevent a fracture or a second fracture. And those services are all very important, but they're not going to help you reverse bone loss, especially not naturally. So number one is make sure you're getting advice from someone who is in line with your goals. If your goal is to take the right drug, endocrinology is probably the right place. If your goal is to reverse this naturally, you're going to need to look elsewhere. So number two is get the right imaging. Most people have a DEXA. Great. We use DEXA. We have to use DEXA because it's available worldwide. Insurance pays for it. Everybody gets it. But it's not the only thing. DEXA can also be done with TBS, trabecular bone score. That tells you about bone quality. REMS is an ultrasound, non-radiation form of imaging that can tell you both bone density, like a traditional DEXA, and quality, like a DEXA with TBS. My preference is REMS if you have access to one. So then the next place to start looking once you have this information is, how do I actually figure out why I'm losing bone? And this is where support groups can be really helpful, but again, you have to make sure you're getting it from the right place. A lot of people fall into Facebook groups. Some of the Facebook groups have been really helpful for some people, but we see some terrible information and I'm gonna start bringing some of that into my videos here so that we can help people to guide them away from some of that bad information. But if you're in a group, uh, make sure that you are getting good information and, and double checking and making sure that it's right for you. One way to do that would be to join something like our masterclass. Now, our masterclass is a totally free 60 minutes where you can watch how we put together all of the different potential resources for a bone health program. Most of those you can do on your own. 
This is totally free. It's an easy starting point. If you're watching this on YouTube, look in the link in the description. If you're listening to this on a podcast, head over to optimalhumanhealth.com and you can check us out there. That masterclass will be a really good starting point and a place to ask your questions that are specific to you. So better than a group. And then there are some private groups out there. Now, there are a lot of really smart bone health people that have private groups, and I've uh, experienced a lot of them. We created our own because we knew that we wanted to be able to serve thousands and thousands of people, not just the hundreds that we can fit into our practice. And so our HealthSpan Nation is where we do that. Now, what's cool about HealthSpan Nation is that it's a community of people really that are focused on bone health and hormone health, but all through the lens of HealthSpan. That's why we call it that. So that means that, yeah, we want to improve our bones, but I don't want to do it at the expense of my brain or of my heart. I want to do it through the lens of HealthSpan so I can live a long, healthy life. Our HealthSpan Nation also incorporates a weekly Zoom Q&A with myself or with a team member. So that's another opportunity to ask questions. We have a content vault. We have discounts. We have a lot of cool stuff in there. It's a really great community. Um, access to that would also be in the description on YouTube or on our website at OptimalHumanHealth.com. Ultimately, no matter how you get this information, you need to come up with a plan. That plan should include what I would consider the right way to frame it, which is our 4R method. The 4R method basically just means that you want to look for the root cause of bone loss. You want to reverse those causes of bone loss. You want to retest whatever you did in the first place to make sure you're heading in the right direction. And then you want to revive your life so that you can live without the fear of fracture. Now, I'm not going to spend the time to go through how we create an entire program because you should just come to our masterclass. Um, but the basics are you need adequate nutrition, you need adequate protein, you need adequate gut function, you need to do resistance training, some kind of impact training that's right for you. This is likely going to include some kind of supplementation. HRT is a big player if you're a candidate for hormone replacement. So remember, no matter what you do, no matter how you frame it, whatever you're doing, make sure that you're testing. I see a lot of people who will get a DEXA, they start taking a supplement, they start walking more, and then they stick their head in the sand and they don't retest for five years. And then lo and behold, ah, man, my bad bone health got a whole lot worse. So please keep rechecking. Use the bone turnover markers like we talk about. Use repeat imaging probably more frequently than Medicare wants to pay for it. It's okay to use cash for these things as long as you have the resources. So you must retest to make sure that you're headed in the right direction. And then if you're not, don't be afraid to ask for help, but make sure you're working with someone who is aligned with your values. All right. So this video was a review of one of the most common questions we see in groups about an initial diagnosis. If you like this video, you might also like the top three foods that we recommend for osteoporosis or top three supplements for osteoporosis. Those have been really popular and can really help to get you on the right way. And remember this, that osteoporosis isn't the end, but deciding to reverse it is a beginning. I'll see you in the next video.